Thank our presider this morning, our general counsel, executive vice president, attorney Michael Harding. <laughs> and to all of our staff and participants, Tamika Mowry, Richard Nordlinger, Anjali Brownfield, Dominique Shopton, and Sean and others that have carried the program. Then I was so happy to be joined this morning by my friend and councilman and co-worker, Brother Eric Joy. Give Eric Joy a big hand. And we are happy, we, the sister that, let me, well, let me give you the agenda, and she's already spoken to her, and Tamika and Dominique will be doing the Youth Summit next Saturday at the convention. But let me say that uh, this week, the National Convention is going to be second to none. And you're going to want to be there because this will be the first convention since the inauguration of President Barack Obama. And it will be a national gathering. Two of his cabinet members and others from his administration will be there. Mayors from LA and Washington, D.C. and Sacramento, California. New York will be there, the governor of two states will be there, but activists, people in our chapters, Reverend DeVest Toon, who's already in our national field director, stand up, Reverend Toon, who coordinates our 43 chapters around the country, including our regional offices, the office in Atlanta, the office in LA, Syracuse, New York, Chicago, and all of our regions are coming in because we must really make the change that is called for a reality. And that's what this convention is about. Now, Wednesday morning, we're going to start shop at 10 o'clock dealing with health care. Some of our top health care activists and specialists will be there. You and I need to know how we organize to get a health care package for everybody and how to deal with the epidemic level of HIV AIDS in our community. We're going to open the convention with that. That's Wednesday morning. At 10 o'clock, 10.30, Star Jones will be doing the woman, professional woman's panel. Many of you know Star Jones from TV. Then the rest of the afternoon, we will be dealing with chapter development and how to organize, workshops on organizing around the country. That night, the Keepers of the Dream, our annual dinner, will be honoring uh, several people, uh, but among them will be uh, board member Mayor Dwight Jones, who's the mayor of Richmond, Andre Harrell, Harrell Music, Esther Silver Parker, uh, Larry uh, Alfred Liggins of uh, Radio One, uh, and others. Uh, uh, Andy Stern from SEIU, Robin Roberts of Good Morning America, who had a battle with cancer and fought and won that battle. She'll be with us on Wednesday night. Then Thursday morning, we open shop. I want everybody at 9.30. We'll be addressed by the Secretary of Education of the United States, appointed by the President, uh, Secretary uh, Arne Duncan, on what are we going to do about education. Look at the condition of the schools. Look at the funding of public schools. Look at the placement of teachers. Not only will Mr. Duncan address us, he will answer questions. I told him we want delegates to be able to ask him about policy. Uh, about three weeks ago, President Obama made a speech on education and how he was going to break it down and where the billions would go. Well, we're going to get the real deal and how to break down goals and question it from his cabinet member who is over that, Arnie Duncan, Secretary of Education, 9.30 on Thursday morning. 
Then we will go right into a media panel that will be headed by Rachel Nordlinger here. On the panel will be Matt Lauer, who co-anchors the Today Show on NBC, Allison Samuels from Newsweek Magazine, Dr. Eleanor Tatum of the Amsterdam News in New York, Errol Lewis of the New York Daily News, and Stanley Crouch of the Daily News, and Dominic Carter of New York One. So national and regional reporters, and again, these panels all open to questions. We can talk about how the media handles people of color. Then we will also have a minister's panel on liberation theology and the black church in the age of Obama. With all the controversies around uh, the president and his church, where is the black church today? What does the black church mean? Is it irrelevant? Is it too militant? Is it not militant enough? We're going to have a real panel talk about that. Reverend Susan Johnson Cook is among those. Reverend Clinton Miller, Brown Memorial Baptist in Brooklyn. Reverend Brad Braxton, who's the senior minister now at Riverside Church. Reverend Cecil Stone. Reverend Rudy McKissick from uh, uh, Jacksonville, Florida, Bethel Baptist. Uh, Reggie Tuggle of Memorial Presbyterian. And, uh, uh, and it will be moderated by one of the prolific ministers of our time, the Reverend Freddie Haynes of Friendship West Baptist Church in Dallas will moderate that panel. Member of our board. Then immediately after that panel will be the annual William A. Jones, Jr., Reverend William A. Jones, Jr. luncheon. And uh, Reverend William A. Jones, Jr., who was my pastor and who headed Operation Breadbasket in New York, we have a luncheon every year in which we memorialize him, and we were honored this year with the uh, William A. Jones Memorial Award from Nash Action Network. Reverend Jim Forbes, a pastor emeritus of Riverside Church. Reverend Timothy Wright, a pastor of Grace Tabernacle Christian Center. Dabney Montgomery, who was a Tuskegee Airman and a former security guard for Dr. Martin Luther King and Hazel Dukes of the NAACP New York in the 100th anniversary of the NAACP. Reverend H. Beecher Hooks, Hicks, pastor of Metropolitan Baptist in Washington, D.C., will speak at that luncheon and Reverend Jesse Jackson will be part of that lunch. Then at 2.30, we're going to the corporate panel. How corporate America will partner with uh, African Americans during this recession. We know about the ripoff. Now what about the repair? And we're going to have a panel of corporate executives that we will question on that. All of this free. Then at 4 o'clock, we're going to screen the documentary from HBO, The Blacklist, 1 and 2. I'm on one and others on two. You can watch it free there at the convention. All of that so you can get your popcorn ready because at 6 o'clock, 6 o'clock Thursday, our annual debate. One year I debated Sean Hannity. This year I debate Newt Gingrich. We'll be there. we we'll talk about America and how we both look at the Obama years and education. Newt Gingrich, the former Speaker of the House, will be there. We're going to deal with his contract on America and our new contract on America. Then Friday, we're going to deal with education equality, education panel. Start 10 in the morning and go all day. At 3 in the afternoon, the Secretary of HUD, Sean Donovan, will be there. We want to know what are you going to do about foreclosures? People in Brooklyn, people in Queens, where's that bailout? We bail out the banks. We bail out private industry. Where does the economic stimulus reach the people? What a man in charge of HUD, put there by President Obama, Sean Donovan, will be there and will answer questions. We're going to talk with him, and then we're going to have a panel. Whatever happened to Dr. King's dream? Everybody talks about the election achieved Dr. King's dream. Well, did it? We're going to have the leading civil rights leaders, the leader of the NAACP, Ben Jealous, and the head of the Urban League, uh, Martin Morial and Martin Luther King III do a panel on that. Then Saturday morning, our action rally will be there at the Sheraton, and then all day we'll be dealing with youth empowerment, and uh, they have from one session to another, who am I now? What am I about? Kim, Hip Hop for Life, and uh, Tamika and Dominique, and they have many celebrities and all of that. Chrissy Peoples dealing with the intergenerational disconnect. And some adults on that, as well as Terry Williams, will be there talking.